Hey, Jay here. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. Today is going to be a continuation of last week's episode. So this kit was recently sent to me and the company wanted me to honestly review their product. It is a desktop do-it-yourself 30,000 volt Wimshurst generator. Uh, now in the last episode I demonstrated you can make some pretty gnarly sparks with it and right about now I'll be inserting a video of that. But I failed to mention the other million incredible things you can do using a Wimshurst generator. So for that reason, I'm excited to show you five mystical demonstrations. The first of these is essentially an extreme electroscope, and it only took a couple of minutes to put together. So take a look. Essentially, we're talking about electrostatic levitation. By grounding one of the electrodes to me, the other electrode develops an electron surplus and develops a negative charge. Since every strip of paper has this negative charge, they are repelled away from one another and separate. Yeah, I know, it's not technically levitation, but the electroscope's leaf was repelled so far vertically, I don't know what else to call it. Uh, but either way, that is an amazing ability. Next up, my favorite thing you can do using high voltage. And for those that follow my channel, I think you know where I'm going with this. What happens when a Wimshurst machine meets fire? Now if you go ahead and attach one electrode to the base of the fire, well, nothing happens. But if you ground the other electrode, notice what the fire is doing. It is attracted to your hand, which is grounded. This is a demonstration of fire bending. And for all the people who have asked how I built my voltage multiplier that I used to do fire bending on all my other episodes, you're going to love the device that I'm using today because I'm going to give you a link in the description down below and information at the end of the video on how to get this exact device yourself. And it's fairly cheap. So what do you suppose would happen if you uniformly charged up an object but allowed it to disintegrate, right? What would happen to all those parts? Let's find out. What happens is simple but brilliant, called the launch pad. Brought to you through mutual repulsion of each other because of identical charge. Next up is a classical example of how to create thrust using electrons. Uh, and this has pretty big implications for space travel. By grounding one of the electrodes, as we've done before, you create ionic wind on the other electrode. And this electrode has a special spinner on it, which focuses the ionic wind, creating rotation. The wind is created just like the launch pad situation, using repulsion of similar charges as thrust. And of course, I would argue that sparks themselves are pretty mystical, whether they be small and painless or large and snappy. So that's the fifth mystical thing you can do using a Wimshurst generator. Now, of course, these devices are capable of many more demonstrations, but those were the top five most interesting ones that I enjoy. Now, I mentioned I'd talk about this device. It is a Sparkit kit produced by Sparkit Electrostatics, uh, based out of New Zealand. I highly recommend you go check out their website. The link will be in the description down below. It is not an expensive kit. Also, Plasma Channel now has a Patreon account, so any support you could send my way is greatly appreciated. It takes a lot of time and it takes a fair amount of money to actually produce these videos. So any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.